Remember the last video I gave you, I discussed with you cooking with Lance, in which I explained to you that everyday actions was an exercise. You needed exercise all day, not one hour and then that's it. Now, the next one actually I'm doing at the present moment is watching TV with Lance. One of the major aspects of this is the fact that when you sit down, we have a problem. The moment you sit down, you shorten the muscles in your quads and your, your flexors. And this causes a great deal of problems, not only to your body, but pain all over the place. So when you're sitting, you have to have movement. Nothing strong, nothing strange, nothing excessive. So I'm going to show you, I've been sitting now for about three or four minutes. So all I need to do is to take my legs from here. I've only got to lift my left leg up, provided I keep the knee over the foot. Not that way, not outwards, knee over the foot. If I hold that for a few seconds, you'll start feeling a pull within your quads. The tightening of those muscles. Now, not only am I tightening the quads, but my flexors are also pulling that leg up. So remember this for future one, because you can't only shorten the muscle, you must also lengthen it. So you do that a few times, but make sure you balance the body remains constantly still. There's none of this movement of that way or this way, just up, pull. Do that a few times as far as you know, and you'll feel those effort. Then try a bit of, do not arch your back. Do not let the legs spray. Keep the left knees over the feet. Tighten the abdominals and just bring it down. Now those few movements there start motivating, getting the mind to accept the fact that those muscles have to be used, but they've got to be used in conjunction. When I lift my, my legs up, I'm bracing my quads, I'm pulling my flexors. But not only that, those source muscles are also attached to the spine. So I have to not allow my back to arch, I've got to tighten my abdomen, allowing me to be able to hold my back in place. So we do that for a few minutes, and then we go further than that. We open our legs up. Now I'm going to use the muscles of the adductors. And then I just lift exactly the same, keeping the knees out. Okay, there's no strain because the whole body, as I'll explain to you later, is one unified version. Then you lower it. Again, keep the knees out. Lift and lower. Now you're using the flex of the, the adductor muscles. So you see from those few movements what has taken place. I've used my quads, I've used my, uh, my flexors, I've used my adductors, and I, and I can use my abductors by just turning my body slightly to the right and lifting my leg sideways. As long as I don't lift the knee first or the foot first, it comes up as a unit. Now you use all the muscles in your thigh in those few movements. You do a few of it, you sit and watch television. While you're watching television, you just do that a few times, do that a few times, do that a few times. And the last and last is to be able to get that leg up there and feeling the stretch or the lengthening of these muscles here. You can lift without any strain whatsoever. I'm using that leg to now reinforce the pressure. And I think if you can do that, it'll make a big difference to your sitting, your movements, and start telling your brain that these muscles have to be coordinated and used as units. Thank you.